Port of Portland is a large quasi-state agency in Oregon, which operates three airports, including Portland International. It also operates several marine terminals along the mighty Columbia River and sees thousands of tons of cargo come through its facility every week. It's a huge consumer of fuels for its fleet of service vehicles. Starting several years ago, it made a commitment to go green. We're at the Port of Portland. Behind me is just pieces of giant equipment. None of it looks particularly green to me. Don, help me out with this one. What could be green here? Well, we're on the Columbia River at the Port of Portland, Terminal 6. And Dave's going to explain to us a little bit about what you've done to go green and sustainable here. Andrew Mallory. <clears throat> nice to meet you. And you, Governor. Yeah. So give us a hint. Well, we do it through a combination of fuels and technologies. <clears throat> we were an early adopter of clean and alternative fuels. All the equipment you see back here is powered by ultra low sulfur diesel. In addition, there's a, it's been blended with biodiesel. And between the two, it knocks down particulate matter between 10 and 15%. OK, good numbers. But what really makes the port green is all the other smart things they've put into the operation. We have a installed a couple years ago, what's called an optical character reader. And it uh, reads uh, information off of cargo trucks as they enter the terminal, off of the chassis and the trucks themselves. And it cuts down the, the idling time about 40% for incoming trucks. And it eliminates uh, idling completely for trucks exiting the terminal. So when these ships, like this one here, that's, I mean, you told me that one has arrived recently from China, right? When that arrives, say, with, with full of cargo, what is the process it goes through? Does it have to go through customs first? But, I mean, you can't just offload it as soon as it arrives, right? There's several steps in the process. These trucks that you see back here are called hustlers, and they uh, load the containers from the ship onto the hustlers using these cranes, which are all, all electric cranes. And then the, the hustlers bring them into designated rows, and then they're put within the designated rows, and then uh, there's a process to clear containers with, uh, through customs. And then cargo trucks coming into the terminal are given assignments of what row they're, they're supposed to go to to meet up with uh, top loading equipment to pick up the container. We have an agreement where they moor their tugs uh, that work in the harbor here uh, adjacent to our terminal. And uh, as part of that agreement, we set up uh, what's called cold ironing uh, facility for them. And cold ironing is simply uh, providing electric shore power so that the tugs can shut their engines off while they're not being in use pushing ships around the harbor. You look at an operation like this and the last thing you think of, frankly, is anything green. You just, I mean, how could it possibly be? But it is. Which is good. It means that industry in this country, even at this level, and, and this is a pretty important level for our economy, this is trade. This is incoming and outgoing international business not anything that anyone would normally consider green, but it is.